remember that we are filters and this is where we filter the stellar background frequency as far as your nodes are concerned from outside the solar system. So it's a really, really cool thing to notice. The other thing that's really cool about it, remember, is it's karmic. It's the path that you're walking, the road that you travel. So it's the backdrop of your life. And the experiment is to witness or watch the environment that you see and not trying to change it. Because oftentimes the environment that we're walking, the path that we're walking, this is usually where the personality has the most problem with the fact that they're in this place and maybe they don't like it. So the biggest thing is to accept the environment that you're in. Because you don't have conscious access to this, it's usually in retrospect or somebody telling you about it or all, all of a sudden maybe potentially some kind of realization depending on how long you've been experimenting. For me personally, it's like an ongoing awareness of like, oh, there it is. There's the people doing their thing, you know, with regards to what that thematic is about. It's also your direction in life. The unconscious is the physical direction. So from the past to the future, it's a really, really magical place, the nodal trajectory. So when you start to study your nodes, because most people start with this on earth, oh, my son earth, you know, my incarnation cross, all wonderful. However, when you start to dive into your nodes, this is really, really cool because this is where the magic happens in your life and it changes your frequency. When you follow your strategy and authority, your vehicle becomes aligned. If you are not following your strategy, unfortunately, you don't have the access to being in the right place and seeing in the right way in the way that is correct for you. You'll still be there, but everything will be skewed. Okay, so you're carrying this stage along with you. You don't have to go anywhere. It's not about a physical location in space. It's about what you vibrate to or resonate to. So the monopole itself, this is the little image that Ra drew for that area of the body graph, holds us together through the nodal frequencies. And when you're not operating in alignment, you don't get the nodal frequency that you are designed to fulfill your purpose in. Nodes are where you fulfill your purpose. It's like the pages in the book. It's the map that, you know, your navigation system as far as where you're driving. It is how you connect up with life. So this is about the themes that we're molded by. And just basically remember unconscious. It's the environment that nurtures your fulfillment of purpose. Conscious, we'll look at, is the aligned perspective. And you can only be aligned to the right perspective if you're in the right place and attuned to things correctly. And again, remember, this is the problem point. Most personalities have issue. My mind, when I first came to this, shaking hands with the devil, I don't want to do that. What is that? You know, so some of these um, descriptions can be very challenging and you'll watch as they unfold. Now, it comes more to the fore at a different time in your life and some of you are before that time. So I'm going to give you your keys to watch out for because you're not going to get all of this right away. It's unconscious. It's a lifetime developmental process. So the process of the first half of your life is your past direction, karmic, where the overdevelopment, you could say, of your karmic gifts are, mm, my mind is saying guided to be planted as far as where you're going to plant your cross, quite literally, though, is in the second half of life. So the halfway marker is your midlife crisis, as most people know it, or the Uranus opposition as we know it, between 38 and 44. The second half of life is after that Uranus opposition when you actually have the ability to give your fullest gifts out into the world. So this shows then that not everybody is designed or able to fulfill their purpose. Some people's lives are cut off short. That means then that they don't get the fullest experience of what that life was about. Oh, well, no choice. It's not like we can choose when to die. 
I know that's very grim. <laughs> this is where I'm at. You know, this is um, the fear of dying before achieving your purpose and people taking risks. That's where I am. What we're going to give you is a key to the uh, environmental frequency from the line quality, as well as where you're at and what to watch for so that you can be where you're designed to be and see how you're designed to see the mechanical direction is imprinted and you have no choice here because it's where we connect up with life base it's a portal so it's not a the, the same kind of genetic imprint we don't describe these in the same way that we do planets so it yes it is part of you but it's what you're taking in from the feed around you that becomes part of you. So you're literally nourished from the outside in. And this is the movie that you're watching. When you see your nodes, then you know you're in the right place to fulfill your life's work, your life's work, no one else's. So it's a stage. Think of it like the movie that you're watching. And because the unconscious is not you're not aware of it unless you've been educated to know what to look for. Most people are blinded by this and they become products of just the nodes without awareness. It becomes hell on earth because they're not operating in alignment. So I have an example of somebody I've been observing and um, a famous rave. And I'll go more into that if you don't understand what I'm talking about um, an event Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how it, how it goes. The nodes set the stage, the background. So the characteristics and the forces that you meet, that is what is going to lead you to outer authority or true enlightenment. True enlightenment simply means your unique, differentiated perspective as yourself, accepted as yourself, given to another freely, without agenda operating in alignment. Enlightenment lightens the load of life so that it's not so heavy. 